All right, so what we have here is an electric bike gas tank that we're gonna do a custom paint job on. After looking over the tank, everything seems to be pretty good. So I grabbed my masking tape and we're gonna go ahead and mask it up so we don't get any overspray inside of the tank. One thing I did notice while looking it over on the bottom of the tank where the fuel line attaches to, it was already masked up. I took the masking tape off and it was rusted. Not good for a brand new tank. You can see right now where I looked at it. But we went ahead and sanded that off, got it cleaned up, and got it remasked. And once I finish getting it masked up, I'm gonna go ahead and take some wax and grease remover and go ahead and wipe it down to remove all the oils and contaminants from the tank coming from the factory. All right, so now that we got the whole thing wiped down with wax and grease remover, I'm taking a red scotch bright pad and I'm going to go ahead and scuff the whole um, tank up to remove the gloss so we can get ready for primer. All right, so you see we got the two electric bike gas tanks hanging on the paint stand. Now I'm about to come with some wax and grease remover. I'm gonna wipe them off and let them sit for a minute. Then I'm gonna hit it with um, some compressed air and a tack cloth. Wipe them down real good to get all the lint and dirt off of them. And then we're gonna spray this 2K urethane primer on them. Alright, so we got everything sprayed with 2K urethane primer. I did three light coats on everything. Now that the primer had time to flash, we're going to go ahead and sand it down, get everything nice and smooth, and then we'll be ready to spray the base coat. Alright, so the next step, we're going to take some guard coat and spray it onto the motorcycle tins, well to the um, bicycle tins, and then we're going to get it sand smooth. If you don't have no guard coat, just use some regular flat black spray paint and that'll work. And if you don't have 2K urethane primer, all you have to do is prime the parts down with some regular automotive spray can uh, primer. All right, so let's get these sprayed down with a guide coat and get them sanded smooth. That's pretty much all I need. So once I sand all that off, I know I'm good to go. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm sanding it in a cross pattern. So I'm going this way 
Then I come back going this way. So I go this way, and then I come back and go this way. And you see how I got the guide coat on there? But I'm sanding it till it's all smooth and going away. All right, so I got to sand it down. Now I'm about to wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. All right, so we got the tank sanded down. Just finished wiping it down with some wax and grease remover. Now we're about to spray some House of Color and Ryan Silver for our base coat. So this is after three coats of House of Color Orion Silver. We're going to give it time to flash, wipe them off with a um, tack cloth and some compressed air, and then go into spraying the base coats. All right, so this is House of Color Strato Blue for the first one. So I'm about to hit them with some House of Color Intercoat Clear. All right, so I'm gonna give it three medium coats of Intercoat Clear. And this is to help protect the um, base coat when I'm doing my graphics and doing all my masking on the um, tanks. But if you prep your tank right, then you don't have to worry about the paint peeling up. But Intercoat Clear just gives you that extra protection to make sure nothing peels up on you. All right, so we got three coats of Intercoat Clear sprayed onto the gas tanks. 
It was House of Color. And instead of using a red scotch pad, I'm going to use a gray scotch pad. The red scotch pad is more for prepping primer and getting ready for primer and sanding down primer. As the gray scotch pad is less grit, which would be good for me to scuff down this inner coat clear and get ready for graphics. I'm going to do the same cross pattern. I'm going to go this way and come back and go this way and then get it all sanded down so we can get to the next step. All right, y'all, so now I'm about to go ahead and lay down my graphics. And how I used to lay out my designs, I sketch it up on a piece of paper, and I used one of my transfer techniques like I used in previous videos that I did to put my image onto the tank. But on this one here, I used Adobe Illustrator for the iPad, outlined my design in that program, sent it to my plotter, printed it out, and placed it on the tank. And this is not a new program, but it's new to me. And how I learned about it was from a fellow YouTuber, airbrush artist and custom painter. And his name is Jake. Jake from Brush Strokes. So if you're into airbrush channels and custom painting, definitely check out his channel. Jake from Brush Strokes. Has great videos on airbrushing, custom painting, teaches you different techniques and tips and gives you good advice. So that's all I did was lay the design down on the tank and slowly start sketching it in using reduced white. I would have recorded this uh, steps, but I kept getting in close blocking the camera. So I didn't even try to record it.
so it's on to the second tank. Hopefully everybody's still with me now. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all skipped through the videos. I'm guilty of it myself, but we're on to the second tank. So here I just went ahead and laid my image down after I printed it out on my plotter. And now we're going ahead and getting the design laid down using reduced white. And I'm actually using Create Text Auto Air Colors on this tank right here. Everybody was saying I need to get with the program and get with water-based paint, so I'm giving it a shot. So I'm using Createx Auto Air on this tank right here. I know that line is going away, so I ordered some wicked detail colors to come in. And at this point, I was happy with the um, Createx colors because I didn't have to wear my respirator the whole time while I'm airbrushing. So right now, it's getting a thumbs up from me. But we're going to go ahead and... Um, Get this thing mapped out and get this tank done too. onto the um, tank and I'm just using reduced white getting the white foundation laid down now I'm coming back with some red then I'll back mask the red into a yellow trim then once we go ahead and get the words laid down I'll wipe it off with some compressed air and a tack cloth and then we'll be ready for clear coat on both of these tanks Mixing up the clear coat, house of color. The mixing ratio is two to one to one. Two parts clear, 
to one part catalyst to one part reducer. I forgot to hit record. The only thing that you missed was before I started spraying the clear, I took a tack cloth and some compressed air and wiped down the electric bike gas tanks. And then I began spraying the clear coat and I ended up giving it four coats of clear. All right, so this is how the two electric bike gas tanks are looking outside. The sun is not out, but you get the picture. This is after four coats of House of Color clear coat. Got a little bit of trash in there. Nothing we can't take care of. A little bit of orange peel, but we still got to color sand them. Get them buffed and polished out. All right, so this is both electric bike gas tanks. After I put them back together. The sun's not really out, so still can't get a good shot outside, but I can see how they turned out. <laughs> 